Hello and welcome to the sale of my Eccles Topaz SE two birth caravan um, that's going on eBay shortly for sale. Um, the caravan was made in 1993. We'll take a look round it. It's a very, very level caravan. Uh, it'll be coming with water butt and whale pump. Very good down this side. All the windows are CRIS etched, so if you want to put it on the register you can do. Tyres are all good. Um, the brakes on the caravan work fine, as does the handbrake. Uh, and the tyres have plenty of tread on. Back here you've got the locker for the Thetford toilet with the pull-out cassette. This panel locks up and there's keys with the caravan, there's two sets. Got the, the Thetford uh, toilet in there with the pull-out cassette at the bottom. Just flip the handle down, pull the cassette out and away you go for cleaning. You empty it and fill it from here and for the toilet flush you fill it here. Pink fluid in the top blue fluid in the bottom. The back of the caravan's good. There's a slight crack on here, um, but it doesn't cause any problems, but I'll, I'll point it out. It's also coming with the waste, waste away water container, uh, which we have the pipes for. The pipes will be coming as well to connect up to the caravan to the waste container. Rear lights all work, back lights, brake lights, indicators and number plate light and the, also the side marker lights they work both sides. One up there, light above the door that's actually on, that works. Off, on, and it's the stable barn door. There's the stable door, door, so you can have the top section open and the bottom section closed. Uh, down this side, very good, apart from a couple of marks which I'll point out to you now. Uh, down the bottom here, there's uh, a dimple, about the size of my finger end. This tire at this side is good. And there you have the Sprite uh, Leisure Group plate. Maximum weight 1000 kilograms, maximum payload 190 kilograms. So it weighs about 850 and can go up to about, so it weighs about 850 kilograms unlaid and around about um, 1200 maximum. There's a slight dimple here, one there, little one there. Oh, and a very, very little tiny one. I uh, barely see it, one there. But apart from that, all in very, very good condition. I'll let you look down this side. And also, the caravan step will be going with it. In this locker is the leisure battery. That was only put on this year. Uh, lock, uh, laser battery in this side and the 240 volt hook up with the 240 volt lead that's coming with it. Here you have uh, an external TV jack, aerial jack. Under this cover there's an extra uh, plug socket for running power in, into the awning. We, oh, there's an awning coming with the van a full awning which I'll put up and show you later. Then, on, then under this cover there's uh, a hookup, a gas hookup for a barbecue. That's the connector, and at the bottom is the on-off tap. That's in the on position at the minute. And then under the front locker, 
Um, I'll show you what's under here. We've got the all the accessories that you'd expect to come with, with a caravan. But unlock it first. Both these locks lock, all the locks on the van lock. And there's two sets of keys. Let's unlock this lock. And then this front just this front just slides up, lifts up, like so, and then in here there's the spare wheel, the 240 volt hookup lead, it's about about 30 40 feet long, the gas bottle and regulator. There's some liquids there for the Thetford toilet, and in that corner that's all the hookup pipe work for the waste water container and that green thing in the corner there is um, a cover for the uh, towing hitch. Um, handbrake works fine, it's got the anti-snake uh, hookup. You hook up, you turn this right, to the, you turn it clockwise till it click click clicks then it's secure and push that lever down. And also in here there's a hitch lock, I don't know if you can see this properly, um, there it is, in the bottom, um, can't see what I'm doing, you put a key in there, turn it and this tumbler comes out, then you put an allen key up inside it, turn it anti-clockwise to release it and this, and then this pulls out, pulls out, and it's also got on it a new snatch snatch chain put that on the other day the other one broke let's go back down front of the caravan same again um, all very nice there is a slight cracking in the cow the cowling or cowling for the for the airframe there's a crack there little one here and it's just slightly cracked at that corner there um, but all in all caravan made in 1993 it's very very good let's look at it one more time and then i'll put the awning up and uh, i can show you that then we'll go inside and have a look at the caravan so remember you've got the fresh water container the step uh, gas bottle spare wheel hook up lead Winding handle for the legs, that's there, and cover for the airframe. And also on this side, well, there, there's a wastewater container and the whale pump. And at the back, you've got the, fre you've got the, the fresh water and whale pump, wastewater away. And I'll just get the key and I'll show you the ledger battery. So now it has one, like I say it will only put on this here and you can see the 240 volt hook up. Get the keys. Yep, there we go. Um, 115 amp hours from Alford, an expensive battery, and there's the 240 volt hookup. And also here, there's um, a 12 volt, uh, what's similar to a, a cigarette plug socket in a car, where you can plug something in to charge up, also while you're inside the awning. So there you have it, that's the outside of the caravan. So as you come into the caravan, remember it's a stable door, so you can open the top independently of the bottom if you wish. As you come into the caravan, you have the, the galley to the back, to the rear, with cupboards above. We'll go and have a look. And two storage above, and a shelf. We've got the cooker down this side, rear window with uh, 
fly nets and blind works okay. Cooker to this side which I've got lit just to show that it works on the gas. The rings are on. I'm going to turn them off now. Um, the grill, grill below. So you can get, see the flames of the grill. Um, that's about the camera. There, the grill's lit. Grill's lit there. Then below, you have the oven, and the oven's on. On and lit. Simple on and off switches. And the oven also has a glass lid that's held back by this little switch here. The lid comes down. There you go, glass lid on top of the oven. I'm going to put that back up for the minute. And then next to the oven, you've got the, the sink, which is a, a modern mix, mixer tap with cold tap and hot tap. This lid just falls back, like so, and same as the other lid, there's a little catch here, put the catch on to stop it from falling back down. So we've got the hot water tap, uh, water gets really hot in here, um, on the 240 volt, two, 240 volt hook up, hook up lead for the water heater, cold tap, sink and drainer. Below to the right, knives and fork drawer below that. Three, uh, two pull out racks, like that. To this side, cupboard door, and in here there's a couple of shelves, um, a fire extinguisher, bit of storage below. To the left of the cooker we've got the bathroom sink stroke shower. We're going to have a look in there. Simple push out button, release it and to lock it inside when you're in you just pull that across and it locks the mechanism. Push it back in, pull it out and let it spring back in and lock it. So then you've got the vanity sink unit with two covers below like so nicely finished in here lovely little bathroom taps cold tap working and off and the hot tap working. Two fantastic mirrors, they're all steamed up at the minute because it's full of condensation now with having this all this heat on. Two lovely mirrors, two paste holders, fancy light above. In this caravan it's not got the um, oblong lights like most caravans, it's got these fancy ones on and off. Vent above that just pushes up. Towel rack stroke um, shower head holder, I know you do. Pull the shower head out of here on this little pipe. It goes all the way up there and clips on to there to make a shower. Rack at the back for soaps and things, rear window, tetric set toilet. This one opens the waste outlet inside the toilet, and this one's the flush away, the pink fluid. Vented at the bottom. And this is the shower tray. All good. Lots of bathroom and toilet. Close it, push that back in. Uh, so next door to the toilet, there's the wardrobe. And below the wardrobe is a fire. Open the door. You have a shelf above. Uh, a rack for hanging clothes, 
then plenty of cupboard space below and then you lift this up and you've even got more space down there for bags and things below the below the wardrobe is the fire now behind this heater here is the gas fire this gas fire doesn't work so what I like, all I do is use this electric slimline uh, convector heater to blow lovely warm air and that's a 240 volt plug in so when you've got it on the hook up just plug that in turn it on it's got two controls on the back 900 watts and 700 watts or combine both on together 1600 watts good little fire nice and slim fits back up to that fire there not intrusive opposite the fire is the fridge of the fridge here and at the minute I've got this fridge turned on on the gas and I'll show you the pilot lights lit and then know that it works pull that up on the door door with a few shelves inside of the fridge with a small freezer box there and it's lit on the gas at the Let's see if we can see if this pilot light's lit a bit difficult from this angle but in the back it might have picked it might have picked it up it might not but but it's oh there there you go there's a little flame in the back and that's on the gas the fridge works on the gas and it also works on the uh, 240 volt hook up it's not hooked up to a um, a power supply at the minute but you just flick that down this lights up and it's working on the 240 and the gas is on this side you turn it off power light goes back out on the floor here is the awning that's coming with the van so you've got the awning here and all the poles uh, curtains in this bag here seating in the front now this makes up into, you can either sleep one person on that side, another person on this side or you can pull the rack out here that pulls across here and it's all lats and then you just put your cushions across and you've got yourself a double bed which I'll make up and show you in a second. The trim in this van is beyond belief. Um, if you look at these lights for instance, the, these are not like the ordinary oblong lights that you would find in a caravan. This is pretty, pretty lovely in here. Curtains with tie backs. Um, all the windows have fly nets, blinds, curtains. This one is slightly damaged, which I will show you, then you know. But it works fine. Um, and, but this one at this side, this blackout blind, I've, I've got it clipped back up here because yes, it does come down and makes a blackout blind, but then you've got to fold it back up, stuff it up there, and retain it. The fly sheets work, uh, curtains everywhere, spotlight underneath works 12 volt, that spotlight works 12 volt, these above, that one needs a bulb in it, as does that one and it has a clock. These seats still got plastic covers on them, apart from the ones in the corner, same on this side, plastic covers, except the ones in the corner. Uh, two pull out drawers, cupboard below and this top here makes a table so you slide it out like this, slide it out like that and then you get this lid, fold it back, push it down flat and you've got a big table there in the front. Also these cupboards behind or underneath this table, um, you can remove them if you want to make this bed even bigger and all the obvious uh, a bolt down either side unclip the bolts this lifts out move it out your way you can make this bed area even bigger um, simple controls uh, leisure battery it's a little bit flat at the minute because it hasn't been uh, hooked up to the mains in quite some time but it is a, it's a, a new battery this year Rocker switch for car van, so it's on van, when you're towing you put it on car, pump for the for the water, 
flick this down on the 240, this light lights up, remember we're not hooked up at the minute, flick it down, that gives you your hot water, a below uh, a TV aerial jack and a 12 volt TV plug socket, 240 volt plug that works, 240 volt plug in the corner down there that works, you also have a TV um, fitting to put a TV on too, smoke alarm, plenty of cupboard space across the top, shelf at the front, cupboard space down this side, I'll turn them lights off, gone dark, cupboard space down this side, under bunk storage, big wardrobe, so what I'll do now, I'll just uh, get the bed out and you can see it uh, made up. On this surface above the fridge, at some point somebody's dropped something on it and it's left an indentation that's cracked the veneer on the top. Roughly the size of a pound coin. But I need to show it you because you need to know the overall condition of this caravan inside. So what I've done, from this area here, I've pulled out the base for the bed, which is laps. And there we have the double bed made up. You could actually sleep three people on here, you could get two adults and a child on, this, on here, but it is officially two berths, but it could be three. So that's the bed made up. Um, so thank you for taking the time to look at this listing uh, and thank you very much for your for your patience bye for now